Hi, Danny Lee. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, uh, not much. We're on this beautiful day here. We want to, uh, we're going to go over some more stuff on beginner's golf. How's a little that? bit more today, huh? Yeah, what do you think? How about a little uh, soft arm and maybe a little uh, a takeaway? How's that? Oh, Does I it can... sound good? Sounds like a plan to me. Kind of a push takeaway, kind of a lift takeaway. <laughs> All right. How well, there's a, there's a few different types of them, aren't okay. there? Okay. Yes, there I is. Think, I think that would be something very important for people to know. Yes. There's uh, well, you know, to start off with, you know, some of the some of the first types of takeaways there are. What what would you say is the most common one that you see? From time to time? Well, I like the sweep takeaway. Is that no? What do you what do you usually see that? What what do most people do? Well, ah, uh, that's <laughs> most people do. Unfortunately, I see a lot of arms. Okay, people like to do their arms and they kind of like to just grab their arms and not turn with the core, turn with the body. They just kind of just arm it for like beginners. Using their hands. Using stuff. their hands. It's just, uh, that's a tough way to start. How's that? That's that is a tough way. That is a tough way to start. You know, Man. so much tension. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm a big advocate. I'm always, I'm always feeling tension in my body. If there's, if there's tension somewhere, yes. be gone. Yes, be gone. Because you gonna be hard to hit that ball correctly. Exactly. The more tension you have in your body, the the less the less it wants to move. You know, tension in your body acts just like an anchor. It tries to weigh you down. Yes. You know, so really, you know, there's different ways to to start the swing. And either if you start it off right, you can get the tension out of your body, or you can put more tension into your body if you're not doing it properly. Now, let's say the first I always find it's real easy to, to go through and kind of get a gist of, of what's going on to kind of use a little analogy. And uh, what do I use this ball here for? That's very, very important. So now you can understand exactly how what we're coming across trying to explain to you a lot easier. Exactly. The, the better understanding you have of something, the, it's so much easier to apply in your body. So, all right, I want you to imagine this golf ball right here. Okay. This is now taking place of your arm. Okay. Mine about 16 pounds. Yours about Mine. 120. Oh! <laughs> oh, no, you probably Close. you probably got closer to about 30, 35 pounds. All right. <laughs> so, all right, this golf ball here is going to take place of the arm. Now there are two ways to get the arms to the top of the backswing. One, you can lift it. You can take your hands and arms and lift it straight up there. Now. Is this a point of tension, or is this a point of relaxation? This, to me, I'd be tension because I'm lifting something. Okay, I'm lifting it up. Okay, not exactly. relaxation. Exactly. This right here, I may not be moving it, but this is this is static tension right here. This is I'm having to use effort to hold it up here. If I was totally tension free and relaxed, gravity naturally brings it back down. So now the that brings, brings me to the next point. Now, the other way to get it up to the top is with a little little pop at the beginning. I, I like to call it a heave. It just, it makes sense to me. <laughs> so what it is, with a little heave at the beginning from your core, you feel that those arms can go up and then naturally they fall right back down. With a little burst of energy, those arms will float all the way up Gravity overpowers that momentum going to the top, and they naturally just fall right back down to the earth. If your arms are that soft, it is very easy for your body to move through. So what we're looking at is actually a pop or a heave. Can I use you for a demonstration? You can use me anytime for a demonstration. Okay. All right, I'm ready. Let's drop the club. I want to drop I wanna the make club. A here. <laughs> here we go. I'm gonna spook him here for a second. Okay, I'm here. I'm gonna show him a powerful little guy can be. All right, I want you to stand right here. Okay. And I want you to lock arms. With lock him. arms. Ready. All right. Now I want you to turn as hard as you can. Try and turn to the left. Okay, this way. Ready? Go. Can't do it. Can't do it. No way. Okay. Not moving. All right. No, no, no way. No, punch. no. All right, budget. now now squat down. Okay, squat down. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, now stand up. Ready? Yeah, because I can lift you. Right. <laughs> I can lift you right up. Your body is built this way. It's not made to move rotationally. That's yes. not where your strong point is. Yes. Every time that you pull with your upper body, you're pretty much locking arms with yourself, and those arms will run right past you. Right. Then you lose all your power. Right. 
That makes yeah. sense. So what you want, you want four power. Right. Okay, so not arm power, not with your arms. Four. Exactly. Well, the only way, well, your your arms can overpower the core so easily. That's one of the problems. So if your arms are pulling on, all of a sudden that core move you're trying to use is completely gone. So in order to keep the core moving, you can use all that power and release the mass against it that way, but the arms have to be totally soft. Okay, so we need soft arms. Soft arms. With the core turning. With the core turning, exactly. And the way you get those soft arms is the way that we just talked about that heave right there. Very good. So the heave is going to get the ball and get the club and your arms up top with least amount of tension. Okay? Correct? Exactly. And that's what we're trying to do. So soft arms. So just swing your arms up. How Throw them up there and then as they fall, all you got to do is turn your body and all of it will clear right through. Very good. So it's all in the timing too. Exactly. So why don't you show them? Let's let's see. Okay, it. we can do that. Give them a nice demonstration of, of how it works. Okay. And show them that sling right at, right through there. Okay. Those soft arms. So soft arms. We know grip now. We know the ball. Now soft arms. Then come up and get a little tension free. I want it very soft. Okay. Nice easy turn. That was excellent. You can see how through the ball that is. That was beautiful. Through the ball. Absolutely beautiful. All right, I'm going to do it with the driver here. And I just want you to watch the softer the arms are, the easier the swing is. This is why you feel a lot of times, you know, when you're out there playing those easy shots, they just take off and they seem to go so far. It's just, it's you're not using your arms anymore. You're getting your body through. Nice good heave and then soft arms. The ball and they just yeah, moves a, everything uh, right through it. That's still going, just so you know. Okay, I think <laughs> I knocked it out of his driving. You're right, that's okay, that's all right. It's another uh, dollar ball gone. <laughs> this, this film cost me a dollar. That's all right, though. That's okay, though. It's all right, as long as somebody's learning something from it. It's all that well, counts. When you're on the golf course, you'll have plenty of room to hit it. For yes, all you that will. that power that you've got. Yes, you will. So remember the heave. Remember the soft arms, body turn, and how we doing? How we doing, is that good right there? I think other than that, you just need to make sure you're having a good time. And we are always having a good time here, you know that. Of course. Take care. Have fun, guys. See Take ya. Easy.